Let's begin by starting Windows Movie Maker. So we go to Start, we go to Programs, and then we do the Expand on Mine, and then we keep going down to the end of the list. This one happens to be in alphabetical order, and we have to go down further, and here is Windows Movie Maker. So we click on Windows Movie Maker, and I bring it up. It is up here, Windows Movie Maker. Let's just check to see that it is. We go to About Windows Movie Maker so we can see what version. It is version 2.1. We'll click on OK. Now what I like to do is open up where my videos are that I want to combine, and they're in my documents. Within my documents, they're within my videos. And within my videos, I have several down on the bottom here that I can combine that are short. I have this one here, which is 26 seconds. So what I can do is left click and drag it over to Movie Maker and just drop it. And what it does is it drops it into Collections, into Windows Movie Maker, drops it into Collections, and it'll get there. Let's come back over to my, uh, my videos, and we'll take the second clip, which is, eh, let's just duplicate the first clip here, it doesn't matter. Put this one up and put it in there. Oh, I forgot to do something. I should have taken the first one and moved it down to the timeline. And if you were combining two clips, you could go and do, you know, bring it over and then just bring this one back down next to the other one. And now you have two movie clips here. What is running here? Something is running. Something's running and taking all of the processing power here. Alright, so I have two movie clips. Now in order to combine them you can just say save them. So what I'm doing is moving down from the original capture video under movie tasks down under edit movie down to finish movie and then I just say save to my computer. It comes up with save the movie wizard enter a file name. You could change this name to be whatever you want. I'm going to leave it. Let me just move this over. Leave it at Movie 5 and just click Next. And normally it shows best quality, the movie setting, best quality. That's what you normally want to save it as. You don't want to show more choices with best fit, which could be smaller, or other settings. You don't want that. So just leave it at this and then you click Next, and then it'll give you an estimating time, and it will eventually, this one's probably going to take several minutes. Yep. And then when it's done, this will say, instead of Next, it will say Finish, and you click Finish. And then this movie on my computer here, we're going to say, uh, has not completely saved, I'm just canceling it. This will be saved within my videos. It would be saved here, and it would be the last one presented here. After this one, it would just put it here. That's where you would find it. And that's the end of this video. So we'll stop it.